Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug tutorials. Uh, today we're going to keep going on the Outlook integration, uh, or basically the Office 365 Outlook uh, Business Central plugin. Uh, we've been doing two videos so far on that, and today I'm just going to see how far we can go. Uh, just a little bit of background. Uh, inside Business Central we have contacts, and those are basically all the people that we interact with. So I have here companies, people, and all of that. Um, and we also have something called opportunities, and I'm just going to see how far we can go. Opportunities are basically deals that we're chasing. Uh, and so if we get an email requesting quote, for example, that would be an opportunity. So we create the quote, we create an opportunity around the quote, activate a sales cycle, and then start pushing the sales cycle through, right? So if we actually go into um, the mail system right here, and I get here uh, an email, please send the quote for Paris guests here. So it's the 200. And if I go into Business Central, like I did before, I can then just go ahead and say, I want to create a new quote. Uh, and it suggests to me that 200, because 200 was in the line here. So I just say, OK. Uh, and then I have the quote, just like I did before. Uh, and in here, I can actually attach it to an opportunity. I want to create an opportunity around this. So if I click on that, I can just create a new opportunity. And uh, inside that, I'll just say uh, Paris guest share opportunity. It automatically gives me the number. And I can go ahead and as you see, it's the sales cycle is new right here. And you can see that the sales cycles have not been activated yet. All right, so that's not too bad. Let's see if I can do something here. Ah, I can actually go ahead and activate the first stage. Just say yes. And now I have the first stage. So I just hit OK. And one thing that's kind of cool with this, I can actually pop all of this out. So if, it, if I'm tired of using this little window here, I can actually get a big window, which is basically uh, the same window I had before, which is big window. This is not the client, though. This is a uh, plugin into um, the Outlook 365. Uh, so it's like a plugin client. And I can hear toggle details. It's kind of nice. And I can actually see um, the sales line details, etc., for this one. And if I want to just close this out, I can go ahead and send it by email or just close it. And I'm just going to go ahead and close that. But basically, what I ended up doing is creating a uh, opportunity for this customer and attaching the quote to it. So um, we can actually go ahead and let me just see here. Uh, drill into the ongoing sales quotes. Here I can see all the sales quotes. And I can actually go into the Datum Corporation here. And I can see that it's now connected to this opportunity. Now, it would be nice to actually have a list of opportunities here. I don't seem to be able to do that. Even if I pop out, let me see if we pop out. And we say details. I do get the main contacts um, face right here. Uh, and I don't see the opportunities. I just see the sales orders and sales quotes. Oh, well. Um, let's see if I can actually get that in here. Oh, so that would be nice though to be able to get into the opportunity straight from here. Um, that doesn't seem to be a possibility. Uh, but anyways, we created the opportunity through new 
and uh, we were able to get into that from there. Um, but there are still some limitations. So um, I hope you got something out of this. Uh, like I said, it would be nice if the opportunities were in a um, actually in here in these, then we could just get back into the opportunities and manage the opportunities. Uh, we can definitely create new ones and we can kind of drill into finding the new opportunities. And maybe it's not that hard to actually change it so we can include the opportunities here as a tile. I might actually look into that and that could be uh, another video to explain. Well, anyways, hope you got something out of this. Thumbs up if you did. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, until next time.